hey guys welcome back welcome to vedantu's jay channel how are you all all my j 2020 aspirants long time no see welcome back everyone this session is specifically for you guys and today i am back with some information considering that your examination is happening next month in the month of september 2020 yes fingers are crossed jay main examination much due anticipated examination for all of us okay guys so here i am back again this time for the 2020 aspirants so guys this is me your suri sir also known as mogambo on this channel let's talk about the guidelines that i think are going to be very necessary when you are going to appear for this examination next month yes guys things have gone actually beyond uh, just the academics you guys are aware that the entire world is going through a very difficult time and in that case right can i say that when your examination will happen in the month of september the government is going to be extra cautious when it's going to conduct this examination okay guys so in sab baaton ko dhyan mein rakhte hue i have come up with this idea where i'm going to tell you that the examination which is conducted which is going to be conducted next month how it's going to be you know extra stress on some of the students and how to take care of that stress is what basically the examination guidelines are here to help you out with okay guys so you know that because now it's going to have extra steps involved when the examination will be conducted so definitely there are important points with respect to your health more okay jo bhi guidelines aaj tak pehle kisi bhi examination mein hote rahe hain definitely wo guidelines to follow honge hi but i think you are also aware that examination will now have a risk involved and that too from health point of view that is why the government will be extra cautious and uh, the time factor is definitely going to increase in terms of the entire duration apart from the examination that you are going to spend at the examination center okay guys so let's start and uh, let's pray that examination happens it doesn't get uh, postponed and it gets done with utmost care and utmost hygiene and maximum security possible for each and every single individual student who's going to appear for the examination okay guys so let's start first point that you should keep in mind is that you have to be at the examination center at least an hour before the examination in fact if you, if it is not a big trouble for you take even extra surplus time in your hand when you are going to the examination center okay guys kyun itna zaruri hai because there will be batches in which you will be sent inside and uh, it will obviously involve screening temperature taking and sanitization process will definitely be involved so please make sure if you can if you can take half an hour even uh, additional to the time that i am mentioning here that will be even better just make sure that you are not running just on the clock okay means what exactly cut to cut time ke according nahi jana hai please make sure that you are going little early at least 1 hour before your actual examination okay guys next yes as i said there will be slots which will be given to you please be present in the examination hall at the designated time so if say the examination uh, is being as in the examination authority is giving you a time slot of half an hour before then make sure that you are there an hour before and at the time which is given to you you are present at the gate so that they can take you in whatever screening process jo bhi wahan pe uh, security measures health measures liye jayenge us samay aap wahan present rahe taki koi bhi chaos at least aapke point of view se na ho okay guys yes now the examination point of view important parts are obviously you have to make sure that you are carrying your admit card along with that carry an identity proof uh, i think aadhar card should be sufficient if you can carry that that's good or else any other identity card which you think is government approved that will be 
advisable to take along with it okay yes do not carry any extra item you will not be allowed to go inside the examination hall with your bags or anything which you can carry along with you especially jo students jinka examination center unke hometown mein nahi hai okay so wherever you stay means jitne bhi students especially jo second tier ya third tier cities mein rehte hain villages mein rehte hain gaon mein rehte hain un students ko definitely apne uh, hometown home villages se us designated examination city mein jana hoga so when you are going over there try to carry less valuables with you in the examination hall you will not be allowed to carry your bag with you so make sure jitna minimum saman leke aap travel kare aur examination hall mein jaye utna aapke liye zyada easy hoga valuable safe rahenge if you are not carrying it with them then obviously that extra tension of carrying that bag will not be there so do not rely on any stranger obviously do not rely or do not expect that there will be any baggage counter which will be there for you to keep your baggages usually if i'm talking from my own experience uh, when i used to appear for those examination i still remember je advance examination as in the second phase of iit examination was not in my hometown so i had to travel to a different city but then at that point of time obviously my parents traveled with me so they had the belongings that we had with them but then not every student might be uh, able to take their parents along with them so aise mein dhyan rakhe ki aap minimum saman aur less valuable saman apne sath leke ja rahe and uh, jo student same city ke hain jinka examination hall or examination center is in the same city they can obviously travel with or without bags in fact okay guys so do make sure that this point is being taken care of okay again a health related point very important always maintain social distancing i i think this is needless to say for last 6 months almost that we have been into this uh, phase where we have been going through this instructions everywhere everybody is telling us to maintain social distance but nowadays as much as i am able to see around me uh, people have actually started taking things lightly also so guys in the examination you know that aapka exam itni bar postpone hone ka one of the biggest reason is the possibility of this rule getting violated okay so you have to be at individual level be very careful in fact every individual student agar uh, is baat ko acche se samajh le to i am sure that examination can be conducted smoothly without even a single person getting infected in this process okay guys so please make sure that in this difficult covid phase you are taking care of yourself obviously goes without saying that not just social distancing you must carry your mask if possible have a good quality clean mask if possible take that screen if they allow inside that's good i think they should but if they don't at least the mask i'm sure that they are going to allow okay make sure that while uh, entering into the premises you are not touching anything unnecessarily not touching the railings not touching any walls not touching any object which possibly can contain the virus and you know anything which could be infectious should not be actually touched okay guys you can see the concern in my eyes that i'm actually when i'm speaking about all these things i'm i'm as an individual i'm not much concerned about the way you will be carrying yourself with respect to your examination i am actually more concerned about each and every individual and the students their health more okay guys some somehow for the first time i'm i'm all, i'm speaking about all these things but then really guys all of those people who are watching this video especially my students please make sure ki aap log health ko first priority pe rakhenge your examination is definitely important but trust me guys the matter is even more serious than our careers at this point of time okay so still let's carry on please maintain this social distancing and uh, make sure that you are taking care of all the health precautions which are required okay coming on to again uh, some points which are objectives here so for students who are also going to appear for paper 2 you know that je main happens paper 1 and paper 2 format so paper 1 is basically for engineering aspiring students and uh, i'll write it down here paper 1 is for engineering aspiring students that means for 
BE and BTech courses, which are Bachelor of Engineering and Bachelor of Technology, which is basically for people who are going to target for engineering colleges. And then the second one is for architecture, which is targeting the degree course of B architecture, okay, bachelors in architecture. So obviously paper two is not written by everybody, but those who are going to write, they will be allowed to take their geometry boxes. Obviously they will require to show their admit cards, which mentions that they are going to appear for paper two as well. They'll be allowed to use and take their color pencils and crayons as well. But what will not be allowed are watercolors. Please make sure that you're not carrying your watercolors with you because they'll not be allowed inside. Just make sure that you're carrying your geometry box, color pencils and crayons for paper two. Please guys remember that this is for only this paper. We are not speaking about the first paper. In first paper, you are not allowed to take your geometry box, you are not allowed to take your water bottle, you are not allowed to take your bags inside. Only for Bachelor of Architecture aspiring, that means those who will also write paper two. These are the people who will be allowed to take the geometry box, color pencils and crayons. Okay guys, I hope it's clear to everyone. Okay, awesome. Now, when you are going there, a blank paper and a pencil or a pen will be provided for the rough work. So obviously, when we are in the exam, we will solve problems, so we need a pen or paper ki requirement, hai, right? So to do our rough work, so you will be provided with blank paper. I am sure more than one paper will be provided to you. And along with that, a pencil or a pen will be given to you. So on that piece of paper, the moment you receive or as many supplements you receive to do your rough work, make sure that you are writing your own name and your roll number which is provided there on the top of that page okay so that there is no confusion ever created in case of any of uh, you know uh, possible negative scenarios you are just safeguarding yourself okay also at the end of the examination this is usually the practice which is done now that they ask you to return the rough paper that you uh, were using while you know solving the question paper is because uh, you know that in JE main examination, it doesn't happen only on one day. It happens for seven days or six days. Any no, any number of days it happens. So, if the first day examination ho raha hai, so students, if they are allowed to take that rough paper, some of the students write down the entire question. They take it, and this might be a way of, you know, possibly a leakage of paper. But then obviously it's not that correlated. But then still, as a precautionary measure, the testing agencies have started, you know taking this practice more seriously and they take they take their pages which they give it to you for rough work okay so you don't have to worry about that you will do your rough work as many number of papers you will require i'm sure they will give it to you but make sure that you are taking care of the part which i mentioned writing your name and roll number over there okay yep at the time of attendance please make sure that your signatures and your photographs which are to be submitted I guess or maybe it will be taken I don't know if any photographs are involved you are attaching them properly and if your thumb impressions are taken make sure that you are giving clear thumb impressions over there do not smudge them okay guys just be calm while doing this step this is very simple okay yes with respect to parents obviously as I said many students uh, be it in the same city and especially people who will be traveling to different cities to appear for this examination jo bhi dusri cities mein jayenge wo definitely apne parents ko ya apne local guardians ko saath mein lekar jana chahenge right guys but then if possible if at all possible if it is not very 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 challenging please try to not take your parents or local guardians along with you okay and uh, if you are taking them, then please request them to leave the premises immediately. Right, guys? I, I think you are understanding, again, from health point of view, if your parents are going with you, if your guardians are going with you, uh, immediately after they see you off, ask them to just go away at that point of time. And immediately after, their ex after your examination gets over, they can come back to pick you up. Okay, guys? In fact, it's possible for you, if it is, then, you know, decide a designated area where or designated point where you can meet them and from there only they can drop you off as well okay people okay specific points for uh, any candidates who may have any diabetic condition so these students are allowed to take sugar tablets or fruits like banana apple or oranges and 
they will be allowed to take transparent water bottles okay guys only students which will who will have any or who already have any medical condition like that okay but any which way packed foods like chocolate candy sandwiches are not allowed so guys please make sure that uh, if you are having any medical condition then you might be asked to provide any certificate or any written you know proof from your doctors so that in case of requirement they will allow you to take all these things and consider you as a special case okay guys i guess all in all points are understood by all of you as i said the whole motive of doing this video was actually to make sure that you guys are aware about the seriousness of the situation still and even if your examination is happening in the month of september again and again repeating your own health is more and obviously paramount importance it is to take care of your health over your examination okay guys so definitely that's what the government is also going trying to do and if they conduct this examination which we are definitely as i said again and again fingers are crossed so if examination happens let's pray that your examination goes well and you all do very well but make sure that you are being careful during this examination okay guys okay and uh, for all those students who are geared up for this examination which i'm sure you all are for those people who want to take this one month and uh, use this even more precisely and more targeted then for those students we have a crash course which has started on this monday only if you are interested in this crash course guys then you can enroll for it in fact this one month could be best utilized if you are in a guided atmosphere if you are being guided by the best of the teachers and what better than being at your home only and still continuing your journey and giving that boost which is required for the last one month which could also turn out to be a game changer for your own preparation okay guys so agar aapko lagta hai ki crash course lene se aapke last one month mein jo aapka performance hai usme aur improvements ho sakte hain usko aap aur zyada acche se shape up kar sakte ho so definitely go for this crash course the details are very simple the crash course link is this which is available in the description box when you are going to click on that it will direct you to a page where you can put this coupon code smcc so the crash course which is actually worth rupees 25000 almost will be yours for just 299 okay guys so if you think this could be helpful do take the advantage but all in all any which way i want you people to appear for this examination happily be at the maximum caution as well as maximum safety that you can maintain during this examination and yes when i say safety and caution and health i mean both mentally and physically okay guys so on that note i'll take your leave good luck best of luck for your examination and uh, definitely i would want you to tell me in the comment section that when is your examination scheduled if you have received the dates of your examination okay guys so i'll keep on meeting you in this one month as well before your examination happens till then take care bye bye guys